Hey, what's up gamers? It's Oscar. And Deshaun. With OK Gamers. And today, we're gonna talk about our experience at Geekonomicon in Oklahoma City with RTZ Esports Arena. So Geekonomicon is actually a three-day convention that was held over at the Oklahoma City Cost Communication Center. RTZ Esports was able to partner up with Geekonomicon in order to give the attendees a very small taste of what competition in an esports arena is like. At Geekonomicon, mostly it was uh, sci-fi and Star fantasy. Wars. A lot of Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars. Which was really cool though. Yeah. We're, we're talking about people in cosplays with like movie grade costumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 501 Legion I think was there and they have like a very high standard in like requirements. costume requirements yeah. for uh, their events. So what I really liked about this con was not the fact that just RTZ was there, yeah. but we were able to teach people something called Ninja. Yes, we were. And I don't know if you guys ever played Ninja before, but Ninja is possibly one of my favorite con games to play. One, because it's super easy to learn. Two, once you get into it, you want to beat everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys want to play Ninja? And I was like, oh man, who's ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> and then cosplays. So many, favorite thing about conventions, honestly, is the gaming but the cosplays. Yeah. The amount of effort that people put into it. That man in the white suit, I'm not sure what he was from either. I think he was from Skyrim. Okay. I think that's what it That was. makes sense. But man, that thing was just, it was so good. He put so much time. Like you Remarkable. Can, you can tell the time that he put in. You can tell the dedication of these mm -hmm. cosplayers because once he took that helmet off, I mean, he was pouring sweat. But I mean, he's still going and oh, just yeah. like, oh, and I was like, man, that's really awesome. Oh, and the other thing was, so many actors were there. Yeah. We were in the vendors hall with the rest of almost everybody else, but upstairs they had a place for autographs, photo shoots, and to the greet and meets with all your different actors. And for me, I had my first like starstruck experience, because <laughs> I didn't know what to say. You know, I'm, I'm in line, I'm like, all right, I don't know how this works. So I walk up to him and I'm like, can, can, can I shake your hand? And he's like, yeah, sure, mate. And I go reach for his hand. And I'm like, so, so I don't really know what to say here. Uh, so I'm just gonna tell you why I'm here. And I go on about, you know, watching Fringe, and it was one of the first TV shows that I really got into sci-fi with. And he's like, oh, that's really cool, that's awesome. So I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I've never, you know, I've never had that. I was like, do like, am I getting charged to talk to you? Like, do I have to, like, if I stand in this line, like, do, yeah. I, I didn't know, I've never done this before. Like, I've gone to different cons, but this one I was like, all right, I, I'm gonna go, and yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so they have an R2-D2 fan club, or like a building club. Yeah. I mean, talking about, I think he said it was two years. Yeah, two years. To build this R2-D2. Handmade, two years. Oh. And he also had a... BB-8. BB-8. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was a little mini dancing Kylo Ren. Oh my god. She, she, mm. Most adorable cosplayer. Takes it. 10 out of 10. Went, will Hands win it every dance. time again. Yep. She danced for hours. I mean, she got everyone else to dance. I mean, it, you just, you couldn't help but smile. because She was getting it the whole time. And right next to RTZ Sports Arena set up the Star Wars ships that people mm -hmm. built. And so she went over there. Like, just walked herself over there and then she just started dancing and then they they all started yep. dancing so they all started getting a little jig going and stuff which i thought was hilarious but yeah it was it was awesome she was the life of the con <laughs> for sure so rtz yep uh we had 10 computers set up there mm -hmm. if you guys don't know what rt esports arena is it is the esports arena that happens to be here located in oklahoma city if you're from tulsa like we are it's about 90 to 100 miles away but definitely worth it Yep. I mean, top of the line equipment, for me, especially since I game on a laptop, and for uh, those of you who have experience with gaming on laptops, it is not the best. It's got the, the dual toaster processor? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, I got the quad. Quad right? toaster, okay, that's good. I got the four slice that's, toaster. That's <laughs> best place to go if you want to have that full eSports immersion yep. experience. But they had 10 computers. We were starting to do uh, Counter-Strike drafts for people who know how to play and for people who've never played it. For yep. like myself, I think that was the second time I've ever played it. There was like a bunch of people who were there that were telling us, hey, honestly, like, I'm only gonna come back to the con because the, set, yeah. the computer setups that you guys have and the games that we're doing. They were doing a bunch of giveaways. The mm -hmm. biggest and best giveaway was actually for a eBlue Pro gaming chair mm -hmm. that was given at the end of the convention for anyone who came by. They also were given two hours of free play. So if you're actually curious 
of where to find the tournaments that are at RTZ, you can always check OK Gamers, the website. We now have our calendar up, so you can check out any of the events that happens at RTZ or at Dragon Slayers or anywhere in Oklahoma. So if you're wondering, go check out OKGamers.com to find out more. Make sure you check out our Facebook as well. That'll have a sign up button for you so it's easier to find. We also want to thank all of the our sponsors from like Tiny Build who yes. gave us codes to give games away, to Core FX that allowed us to do the gaming mm -hmm. invest, RTZ for being as awesome to allow us to come to the convention with them. Shout outs to you guys yep. for helping us out and shout out to them. They'll be having an event, I believe October 8th mm -hmm. for the charity that's gonna have up to, I believe $10,000 worth of cash prizes. So make sure you guys check that out. We do really wanna know what you guys think of the channel. So yep. if you would, please in the comment section below, rate us on a scale of one to 10 and why we got that number and what we can do to improve that experience for you guys. Cause what we wanna do yep. is make sure we're growing, uh, but growing in a way that you guys like, as well as we're gonna be getting close to 300 subscribers. So the more you guys, like the videos, the more you guys share with your friends, the closer and faster we'll be able to get to that, but also we'll be doing giveaways on the 300 subscriber video, so we really wanna give you guys stuff, but it is a secret, so stay tuned to find out what those things are gonna be mm -hmm. and help us get to 300 subscribers. And as always, guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest edition to the OK Gamers YouTube channel. If you liked the video, slap us that thumbs up, share the video with your friends if you really wanna show us some love. And as always, we will see you next Wednesday here on the OK Gamers YouTube channel, but till then.